I feel like I was born an artist, and I feel like I was born a woman, and I feel like I was born a dyslexic person. Fast forward, you know, I'm 20 years old, and I got in this really nice show, and my dad was with me. He's always been my biggest supporter. He's right there helping me hang up my artwork. And as we're hanging it up and we're finishing everything up, um, I'm looking around and I'm like, yeah, my artwork looks pretty good. And I started walking around the room and reading other artist statements and bios. And I started to realize that I was the only one there who wasn't educated. And that still hurts. <laughs> because I questioned myself. I went out in my car and I had a meltdown. And I heard a rap on my window, my, it was my dad. He's like, what are you doing? And he made me laugh about myself because that's what dyslexic people do when we're being ridiculous. And he talked me into coming back out there to stand by my artwork. And I did it for him. I was scared. I was shaking. I was vulnerable. I thought people were going to laugh at me. I thought they were going to ask me where I learned to paint like that. Um, I thought that the event would probably send me home because I just didn't have what the other artists had. I didn't. I didn't learn in an art institute. You know, I had never been to London. <laughs> I, you know, I just, I didn't have this background that they had. And so I went nonetheless, and I stood by my artwork, and I won Best of Show. And that made me feel like I belonged, and I was worthy. And, you know, all those school feelings, that girl that learned in the closet, you know, all that had come up, and it almost stopped me from showing my work. But I trusted in myself, I trusted in my art, and I came through, and I not only came through, I won the best of show out of all the artists there. I was on top for the first time in my life. And so it just opened up this career for me. I never second-guessed myself again, not with art. So I had COVID-19, and I was really sick, and I'm in bed and I'm painting these black and white bunnies. All I can see were these whimsical little illustrations and I just had to get these little black and white bunnies out of me. And so I made them dyslexic. I told a dyslexia story through these little pieces of art, what it's like to be the dyslexic child in the classroom. I created 10 paintings. They haven't seen the light of day and I'm very proud of them. And I think hanging them up on the wall makes dyslexic people and their struggles visible. It's the first time I've ever done awareness art like that, and I'm just hoping that people enjoy it as much as I enjoyed making it.